Afternoon cactus people and welcome to Ziggy's Cactus House. It's a rather cool February afternoon. Not much going on outside today, it's all damp and cold. So if you care to join me, we're going to have a little look at some cactus seeds today. Okay, first off, we shall be planting some mixed cactus seed today. Today we've got Mr. Fothergill's cactus flowers of the desert. I'm not saying this one's any better than any of the other several cactus mixes we've got. It's just this is the one I happen to have today. So um, before we do that I'd like to show you just a few that I've grown from mixed cactus seed before. This one's um, Echinocerius pentaphylus, which has lovely um, mauve flowers, I think, on it. Um, they're quite big, and you know it when it's flowered, it's gorgeous. Uh, there's a puncher in the background, which probably goes slightly out of shot. Uh, that's another seed grown one. Um, quite often, the mixes have these Echinocactus platyacanthus in them, which um, very much like a Grusonii type cactus, it can grow quite big. Uh, I've seen pictures of these with a, a chap standing next to it looking up at the top. So, uh, I've got several of those at different stages from different mixes. There do seem to be two or three seeds in each one. Uh, all of these are grown from cactus seed mixes. Oops, excuse me. You can see there's some ferrocactus, some grusonii's in there and some unknown ones. Uh, I enjoy planting the cactus mixes because you never know what you're going to get in there. And for this one today we'll be using a mixture of um, perlite, uh, some sieved and grit and some homemade compost with a little bit of sand in there. And I've mixed that together in this pot. Uh, this pot has got a clear lid, just a sea salt pot from the Cornish Sea Salt Company. Other pots are available. Uh, I've drilled a couple of holes in the lid and a few in the bottom. And most of it is coarse compost in the bottom, but the top half an inch or so I've sieved through a very fine sieve so <coughs> we're going to have good contact with the seeds you don't have to do this but you can put a layer of single ply tissue in on the top um, don't wet this down until you put it in there and got your seeds on there and then just spray it spray the top soak the pot from the bottom as well and then spray the top so the tissue adheres to the, the compost. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's uh, get this out of the way for now. <coughs> and here's our uh, cactus mix that I've uh, already opened. Uh, nice mixture of small and large seeds in this one. It would be interesting to see what it gets. It says 30 on the pot, on the packet. Make sure they're all in there. Yeah, looks okay. And as you can see, without me tipping it up too much, some big and some small. So I'll just be spraying that up, putting that in the propagator to keep warm. Uh, keep the top damp until they germinate. And another good reason for having the tissue paper on there, it stops them sinking into the cactus. And a lot of the cactus seed do need light to germinate. So by uh, letting the light get to them, you're ensuring a bit of germination there. So, there we have it. Thank you very much for joining us today. We'll see you in the next video.